Hey guys, it's your boy Joshua, aka Boy from Ipanema for I Love to Create.com. And guess what? It's time to go back to school. Yep guys, it's that time of that year again where we're no longer free and able to do whatever we want. No more beach parties and pool parties and long summer nights. No, instead we trade them for the epic up all nights studying for that final exam. So as we go back to school, we might as well have a little fun while doing it. Now if you're like me and you can't really see, sometimes you need some glasses to help you out a little bit. Especially when you show up 20 minutes late to class because you had to sleep in because you were busy all night studying, aka watching the So You Think You Can Dance finale. And remember that Clueless, Teen Wolf, and American Horror Story are all on Netflix, so of course you had to watch the entire seasons of those. But mostly because you were studying, so why not take something as functional as glasses and make them into a cool piece of art? Like this. Look at that little peekaboo. It's like, hey, how you doing? It shows that you are artistic and insightful. Well, anyways, I tried a few different methods to get this way, so you can go through the things that didn't work and the things that did work alongside me, and we can learn with each other. So, let's make it do what it do. So, really all you'll need for this project are a pair of glasses and then your tulip slick paints. Now, all the rest of the stuff that I have here, I don't really need to use because that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. So first I took some painter's tape and I cut little strips out into geometric patterns and I laid it out all over my glasses. Then I took a dauber and some slick paint and I attempted to kind of make a quasi stencil thing with a tribal pattern. But as you will see that didn't really work out. Now it probably would have worked had I used the soft paints. But since the slick paints are intended to be dimensional, they have a little more of a plasticky hold to them. So when I tried to smush them out with the pouncer, uh, they just didn't work. So when I went to pull off the painter's tape, it pulled off the entire like design, basically, as you can see here. Um, so I decided that that didn't work, so I went ahead and I peeled it off. So once my glasses were completely peeled and free of any excess paint, I was able to start fresh with a new set of glasses. This time I used my dimensional paint the way they are intended to be used, and I just drew some inspiration from different tribal patterns and henna and things of that nature, and uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. Then I repeated the process on the other side and let it dry. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the I Love To Create channel. We put up new videos every Tuesday and Friday. That's two videos a week, y'all. Math, because back to school. I hope to help inspire you a little bit and uh, I don't know, maybe these glasses will make going back to school not so bad, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? You can follow me, Joshua, AKA Boy From Ipanema on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Vine at Boy from Ipanema. And you can follow my personal channel, youtube.com backslash Jeshua Faveros, for new videos every Friday. Don't forget to subscribe! Stay crafty, my friends. Bye! Oops. I dropped my boulders.